Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the uh, the Hyzak Custom. And then I'll talk about uh, the, the new jungle map today. All playing a match with it with uh, Stefan and another person from Discord named uh, Vio. And uh, yeah, we're going to have lots of fun with it. Uh, Hyzak Custom, one of my favorite supports to play. It's a pretty damn good support. And uh, for the jungle, pretty useful shooting across the river and all that. And I'll talk a little bit about jungle. Jungle's a jumble. <laughs> Let's jumble up our words. Uh, the jungle is a pretty, pretty fun map so far. I like it. It's uh, very useful for amphibious suits. Just run straight down the river. Uh, pretty useful for sniping suits, and really useful for stealth suits. Uh, especially for something like the the pixie or the the gelgu, the desert desert gelgu. There we go. Almost said desert gelgu. Uh, since some some of them have absolute stealth too, like the at guy level four, makes it very scary since they can also traverse the water. <laughs> but uh, yeah, desert's pretty fun. Lots of places to hide. Uh, very useful for something like the GM sniper too, that you can't even see where they're shooting you from. It, it's scary sometimes. Uh, it could be pretty useful for the Zamble too, but he's fucking huge target, and you'll probably see him a mile away. You'll t you'll hide. Uh, you know, we're still in this uh, new map craze where everybody just charges forward. They barely think about the tactical advantages of the map. Kind of like that too right now. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, you know, uh, moving towards D is pretty pretty good for me. Uh, moving towards D, keep an eye out on anybody pushing towards... Um, I guess we see it over there. I think that... Man, I make us take no. That's C. My bad. Yeah, C's over there. So watch any enemies coming to C. Relay some information. Oh God, down swing off. Uh, tell everybody what they have. Uh, meanwhile, you can have some teammates go through the river, see if anything's coming up that way, and maybe have a person uh, go to the left side. Can't remember the letter over there. Uh, looks like it's B. So you have somebody on B, uh, and you can push up alongside all three directions here and eventually I think uh, what's gonna happen is is either gonna be two sides have uh, both sides of the river locked down like you have uh, since there's six points you have your base and the two points closest to it versus the enemy's uh, base and their two points and then you fight over the two middle points or you have a situation where the uh, you have one side of the river and the enemy team has the other side of the river and you're just sniping at each other pretty much. Uh, right now, a lot of people are just jumping right into the river and uh, <laughs> thinking they have stealth, but they forget that a lot of support types have the ability where they can see your uh, health. A lot of people take that skill for granted, uh, especially you know uh, how support types sometimes are in this game. Pretty laughable to beat sometimes. Uh, so, you know, pretty useful to have the support with that ability. Uh, you can see the enemy's health, especially if they're underwater. That's very helpful to find where they're at. Uh, even though you're close to them in the water, you can't really gauge where they're at and what suit they might be using, so you might miss a shot or something. And, oh, yeah, it's target shuffling. And I just missed terribly. <laughs> Didn't even know what the fuck I was thinking there. I tried to do, like, a flick shot, but you can't do that on a, on a controller. Uh, and yeah, here just sniping across at the uh, the enemy target there. I don't know why he didn't notice I was sniping at him. He could have saw my uh, my yellow charging up uh, beam. I guess maybe he didn't see it or something. Too focused on the water. Which uh, yeah, the water's fine, but you know sometimes you gotta <laughs> you gotta remember there's something there's another place besides water on this map, and people can shoot you from it from everywhere. Uh, oh yeah, look, I can see all their health. I can shoot at them, and uh, yeah. Uh, ASL weapons like machine guns like this, uh, very helpful because uh, you don't even have to aim pretty much. You'll get guaranteed damage. Hey, they're knocking down. We're going to take a shot. I uh, didn't get the kill, sadly. Uh, yeah, everybody can see their health. We know where they're at every time. And since they're in the water, they're slower. <laughs> they're not even amphibious suits. We don't have amphibious suits on our team either. But uh, Stefan did pick the, uh, the Desert Gelgoog, which has stealth. And it could be a nasty surprise sneaking up somebody from the uh, from the water. You're like a fucking crocodile. You come up, and just like an actual crocodile, you shoot them with your arm to buster, and then you drag them to the depths. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, taking some pot shots down here at this uh, these this uh, suit. 
So let's say these people, there's only like one person down there. Another one showed up, you know. They have this point next to us captured, but I'm not worried about that because they keep spawning at sea and then jumping in the river. And <laughs> it doesn't really help them at all. Got them ground type. Ooh, good shot there. 4,000 damage. Let me sit up real quick. I'm kind of laying down on my side here. Oh, and there's a Methus. Which, uh, yeah, he should have been uh, taking some pot shots at us. But now he's in the water, now in the river. After uh, using his transformation, now he's just stuck here. Hey, target's right in front of me. Heavy uh, heavy Gundam. Steven's going to make quick work of him. And I'm going to get killed by the, uh, the Dom Barrage. Which, uh, yeah, those suits can be pretty helpful for uh, maps like these. Constant damage, firing from across the place. The only place you can hide is behind rocks. Or if you go back in the river, and then you can have somebody else come up in the river. You have somebody else lying in the river. They don't know they're there, so they go in the river for cover. Or to hide from their radars, and they get killed by whoever's waiting in there. <laughs> so jungle's got a lot of interesting uh, tactical things you can do. That you can't just run around like uh, Arctic base and just have a Call of Duty match. You gotta think a little bit. Hey, there's another Mythos, and I think here, oh yeah, and I think we skip forward here in a second, but uh, yeah, I got the, uh, I am the target, so I'm trying to uh, damage people as much as I can, because now they're making a very dedicated push, so I'm going to try and damage people as, most, uh, as best as I can. I did get a kill, but I'm just trying to get some damage off so I can get an assist or two before I die. Because uh, it looks like I'm going to die with this <laughs> this amount of people shooting at me. And some of our teammates not pushing up a little bit. Oh, we do have a Rick Diaz and the Don Barrage. But yeah, right here, uh, here comes that Methus. Could have shot him. I missed. Missed the quick draw and I got killed. But I did get an assist off. That's good. And uh, yeah, last 20 or so seconds left of the match. Another assist off. Good. Just what I uh, planned to have happen. This is a 500 match, so basically getting another kill is fine for me. 450 points. <laughs> and, uh, well, got nothing else to do, so just wait it for this match to end now. There we are, timeout. It was a pretty good sniping match, I'd say. Everybody's saying good work. Yeah, yeah, good work. That was fun. Mission completed. Uh, I didn't even have correct camo for this map. <laughs> and hey, uh, top assist, top diversions. Nice, nice. Probably because of the last few seconds of that match. And hey, first place, 3-2. and two. Uh, It looks like second and third across the board, except for Pursuit Assist, which uh, Hyzak Custom can't really do that unless they're really super close to him. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good match with the Hyzak Custom on the, uh, the jungle map. Uh, you know, not too bad, I would say. <laughs> so again, uh, jungle map really is going to benefit three kinds of suits going to benefit the snipers the uh the amphibious suits and of course uh stealth suits uh camouflage will probably be pretty helpful in this map too so i mean they'll probably still see you moving with your beam weapon out but it'll be helpful if you're n the least if you're not as noticeable as possible the least noticeable <laughs> person there you have your person wearing their uh, their mankini outfit their amphibious suit with red underwear on <laughs> running around and you're sitting there in your camouflaged outfit, sitting in the trees. They'll probably shoot at the uh, the Borat creature running around first. Uh, you know, you'll be pretty safe until you know. I guess when they start pushing, but you know, Jungle Map's pretty fun. I like it so far. And uh, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you know, type up in the uh, the comment section what you feel about this uh, this suit or this map. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Of course, I always say the Hyzak Custom is one of my favorite suits to play. Favorite support suits. And uh, Jungle Map, I just told you why it's a pretty good map. Um, again, you have to think pretty tactically. Uh, you kind of have to think about the suits you want to use. Uh, you just have to be very careful. <laughs> it's going to be awesome sniping at people, but fuck, man. If there's a pixie on the enemy team or a... Um, an Agu guy, oh my goodness, it's, they're going to run up on you almost every time coming from the river. You'll never know they're coming unless you have uh, anti-jamming like the Zoc, which man, the Zoc would be pretty good for this map if it wasn't so fucking huge. <laughs> have to stick to the river most of the time. But uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.